And it's Ashley's turn. It's my turn. Hey. Hey. Okay. 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 Hey. 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 Um. Fucking hell. Uh. I will use my action and my dash to get sixty feet towards them. Fair. So I'll go right here to the corner of the roof. Sounds like right a there. pretty decent plan. Right there. Yeah, All right. That's right there. And I will say, I will say, just because they're charmed, there's no reason to say that talking to them is useless. I will say, I will say, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk to you. Uh, I just need to check something real quick. God, they actually don't know common. Uh, not that. <laughs> So you're gonna need to make a wisdom saving throw. What? Oh no. You, oh no. You as far as I understand with where our drawings currently are, are well within thirty feet of the hypnotic pattern. What? <laughs> Wait, I thought we said it didn't work on me. I don't remember. I think I went into it and said any each creature in the area who sees the pattern. We just said that if you get hit by it, it automatically stops because you can't maintain concentration. Uh, <laughs> and I say that as I run. I say that as I run and I make my fucking saving throw. To be fair, at least you get to. At least you do it. You, at least you do advantage on it. It's true. I have advantage on it. You do because yeah. you actually. You, oh no, it's just advantage against being charmed, right? Yeah. You can't yeah. be put to sleep. That's the one. Can't be put to sleep. Yeah. Um What Not the great. What? The uh, uh, you rolled them both. Ooh, what's your what's your, uh, what's your uh what's your thing? Uh not 11? Ah. Uh, so, I think Would you believe me if I said 11? <clears throat> I would have before that, maybe. I do have your sheet here, so I could have checked. And it sounds a little low. You have to be a pretty, uh, pretty not talented fucking wizard. Or, sorry, bard to not have, uh, any... I guess not, that's not totally true. That's usually for wizards and stuff, like... Get that big intelligence score, you get that nice saving stuff. Or... Wait, what? Alright, we're talking about her save DC. For hypnotic pattern, right? Yeah. Sixteen. Ooh. Ooh. But it's a wisdom saving throw. Yep, it's sixteen. Don't you have a wisdom saving throw? Is it only two? I guess it was only two. Wisdom saving throw? Uh, yeah, two. Okay then. Well, um, so this is pretty funny, but here's what happens. Uh, you basically. You know, uh, you go up there, you run up real quick, you're like, stop! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> stop. Ooh. And, and, and let, me, let me double check something real quick, because I think this would be even funnier, but I was just looking at this, so I want to look at it again. You don't make me fall off the roof. No, not that. Oh, that would be funny. Uh, it was something else. And it was also... To do some somewhat with them as well, so not just you. I wanted to see what happens when you're released from that spell. Uh, also, I needed to check uh, this area. Uh huh. Okay, let's look up the definition of that. That's one thing. What? Where is hypnotic state? Hypnotic pattern. Is it hypnotic? Yeah, sorry, it's uh, pattern pattern. Creative pattern that leads to the air inside a 30 foot cube within range. 
The pattern appears. Each creature in there you see this pattern is made to fail, so they become charmed. Oh shit. Okay, no, okay, there we go. Yep. Alright, so yes, it cuts off. I had to double check and make sure charming was total incapacitation. Because if it wasn't listed in there, then uh then technically you, the spell would have continued throughout its duration. But it does break and incapacitate you, which is necessary for breaking concentration. The only things that can do it is casting another spell, taking damage, or being incapacitated or killed. Uh, that so, there, I can also decide certain things can fuck you up, like a wave crashing over you or some shit. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, the way I the way I picture what just happened is I'm running sixty feet across this fucking roof towards these people and i'm like wait i don't want to hurt you i don't want to hurt you and then i'm like ooh, ooh. and then it's like uh, uh, <coughs> god what just happened i basically trip on my feet a little bit I, well and that's I mean, yeah. that was why i was trying to see like all right how does movement affect that what i was looking for was how does uh your movement kind of get affected by hypnotic pattern but just says that you can't move or take an action so the the bats don't fall out of the sky as if they were paralyzed right yeah and that's kind of the same for you you're like just kind of like oh and then you're not anymore yeah it's like ooh, pretty i stop running and then like i definitely could have made you trip off the roof if i wanted you but could have made me do that <laughs> but i feel like that was not exactly how that would have worked also i think it would have hit you like roughly about here so a little closer than fall off the roof distance. Yeah. Because I assume this blue little dot here is where it's at. Yeah. That's that's my my kind of assumption. Um, yeah. Having said that, everyone is now free of that. <clears throat> so yeah, including this person who says help, help. Oh, oh, okay. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. Don't worry. I'm helping. Shit. And then I, I yelled a wedge. I was like, kill the bats. Just the bats, though. Not the other one. Kill the bats. Please. P please. Little does she know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The witch one was yelling at me? Was Paez yelling at me? Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. How long has it been since this? That's... Two Can turns, I probably. Check her? Can I insight check her? Or would that be my turn? Um, it would probably be your turn. Because currently you've only... Actually, it's pretty much your turn anyway. Because you just did the sprint. Yeah, that it is like it is fully my turn. Because I used my action and bonus action to dash. Yes. So I have nothing. That's why I ask. Yeah. If so, end of turn. Yep. Michael, it's your turn. You know, I don't think strangulation is technically bludgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> you, I will find a way to kill this animal. <laughs> <laughs> Hands. Where are the rules for strangling? <laughs> I don't think anybody. Uh... Oh my god. Um. But okay, there's not... the suffocating rules. Of course, there's suffocating rules. Yeah. It's D and D. Holy shit. <laughs> no, it's so much. Still, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, I've got to mute one second. Sorry. Michael, just like shoot your knife and use, uh, I don't know, blade of fucking Thor's or whatever. Hail of Thor's. Just <laughs> 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 throw the sword. It's like, whoa! <laughs> Um, actually, I was going to try to use my whip on it. 
because it's slashing damage. Which is, which is interesting that it's slashing damage, but I was going to try to use my whip to wrap it around the neck of the creature. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's called shock, but I mean, you got a couple of attacks. You got this. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm trying to, you can always, try to get my... <laughs> you can always take one prisoner. <laughs> God. I'm trying oh, sorry, to Witch doesn't do that. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, get my whip around its throat. All right, I'm gonna let this go with a. We'll start with an attack roll. Let's start there. All right. Just make sure that is the bonus for it. Yeah, that is the bonus to hit. Come on, baby. Oh my fucking god. Well, to you know how last week or the week before you didn't you know have the greatest this week's worse <laughs> here's the thing it wouldn't even matter what we were doing or fighting you're not gonna hit it with a fucking 10 i know <laughs> second attack I'm even again. even with your plus nine from your bow it would only be a fucking 12 well i'm trying again with my whip <laughs> okay i was just like i'm like i feel bad for taking his bow from him but all right that's a hit all right. So um, does it does it wrap around its throat? I'm gonna make you do a dex check, I guess. I feel like that's a dexterous thing. So one deep, one plus four. Like I said, I'm laughing, and it's it's just getting better and better. Fucking god! Once again, I I feel bad because I broke his bow. Right? I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have took it away. Cause like, yeah, I don't get to use the weapon thing, but it's like his weapon. That's his one thing, right? But then he rolls like this. And I don't feel bad anymore. You know, he's pretty much like... So it doesn't... Like, it, it, it hits him, but it doesn't wrap around his throat. Yeah, you, you get him, and you get the attack off. Uh, let's say for now you wrap around his arm, I guess. I, I don't know. Can I just... Uh, All right, no, so, no, so no, instead no, of wrapping no. around his throat, it wrapped around his arm. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Guys, guys, no, you... <laughs> it wraps around his throat, but he's into it. That's <laughs> like harder... <laughs> Oh <laughs> Choke me like you hate me. You know, that's the part of I've been me, watching you know. too much fucking corpse. No, so, no, no. You know what this is just reminding me of? Uh, what? Any of you guys play Genshin Impact? Uh, yeah. no. I'm supposed no. to go start, but I don't. Yes, I I'm do. also supposed to play Valorant. Pretty mm. uh, Wedge is pretty much child, a child. God damn it, no. Fuck <laughs> off. I do know that Fuck character, that though. Shit. I do know the whip character. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's still wrapped around him. It's just not at the throat like I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, fling him over the edge and onto the ground. Okay. So, uh, strength check, right? Yes. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is horrible because it's only a plus one. Come on, high roll. What fuck, the fuck? fuck? Damn it. Oh. So instead, he's gonna pull you. That's the worst image. No, no, no. That's no, that's legitimately the worst image. Now he's gonna be like, come here, baby, and just pulling it around his arms, just slowly reeling you in. <laughs> the five feet. Oh, no. oh, my gosh. Uh, and yeah. it is it is his turn next, so. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. It's Mike's turn. Mike. Mike's gonna make a hero move. Mike, don't be, Mike. A, don't be, a, don't, don't be a stupid hero, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let. <laughs> I hate Mike, this no. I hate this session so much. Everything is going wrong for Wedge. It, it, this is not Wedge's session, that's for sure. Like some I sessions, have... Wedge has good. He's like, I got that guy right through the face with an arrow. Made it out of here, no problem. I just beat up a, a slime and almost won against Terrace, kind of. Yeah. It was like half and half. <laughs> yeah, this was... Uh, and, this. Or, and I literally like said, okay, I'm going to hang back and let Wedge deal with this problem. And then Wedge oh, like, God. psych. Psych, your problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, here's where it comes down to it. You can finish him. He's not that strong. 
Oh, oh shit! All right, but now we got to see what happens to Mike. Mike, no. Oh shit! Mike, no. You know, I just realized I should have had advantage on those. Huh? Why? On the attack rolls, because he's engaged with other enemies. Oh, he's right. He I should have. He he would have gotten his flanking bonus. Technically not flanking, but whatever. It's flanking. We all know it's flanking. It's just a different name now. No, God fucking. It is still the name too. Yeah, it's the same name too. They yeah, just made the, They just made it not actually work like flanking, which kind of pisses me off. It's is just, it wrong that it pisses me off? I mean, it's an optional rule, if I remember correctly, to a degree. So it is, but. Oh man, poor. So remember, any attack that anyone else does against that bat has advantage. All right. Well, Mike uh, brings down his fucking obsidian hammer of doom and hits it in the head, and in, and it falls over. Still, still tied to Michael. And uh, Mike looks at you all, and he goes, "Mike, you did so good, Mike. I'm proud of you." Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then Mike falls over. No! He's very... Well, it's, it's a shame I'm not an artificer. Do they even have artificer in 5e? I, yeah, 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 they do. In 5e, they make magic weapons. Like, a ton of them on command. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. Uh, I, I guess I just don't have the book that has artificer. No, it's on a specialty... Yeah, yeah like, most of the shit. That it gives you you, yeah, that just, you could just yeah. if you want, you can find all the books. It, it, the new ones are a little tougher sometimes, but like I've already got Tasha's. See, it's it's difficult for me to do it that way because that means I have to go through D and D Beyond and homebrew it exactly out of the yeah. Book. It's either um, that or buy the whole damn book. And there's a lot of books the, now. They like finally the, started releasing more. I'm happy Which about I that. Which I don't have the money to buy. No one has the money to buy all those books! Um, but also then there's this site that I have that sit, that sit here in, you know, this pirate site. Shh. Shh. <laughs> We're on stream. You're gonna get us in trouble. I know. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, is thing. Because, for example, the weapon that Mike's wielding, totally from a new book. <laughs> I gave him a badass hammer. Actually, it's really not. Uh, you know, it's all right. Oh, artificers in Tasha's cauldron. Yep, that's why I was like, I. That's why I mentioned it. I was like, I just got Tasha's. That's why I know it. They just added it. Yeah, there's a lot of things in Tasha's that they added that are really nice, especially it, the customization. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I will say that uh, I wish they'd have put more lore into Tasha's. But besides that, everything else is amazing. I mean, to a degree, they kind of do, because you get a... You get to... It, the spells themselves aren't as landed we all think they are. They're all not all the same. Well, that's that's what I mean, sense. though, is like the... The lore behind Tasha's stuff isn't developed because it's new. Yeah, that, so okay, it's, now that, yes. So you got all these items that you've, like... Like, whereas before, right, we all know fucking uh, Mordekane's... You know what I mean? All these different larger name ones that have showed up before in D&D &D on and off. Or, like, if you were going to say... Uh, fuck, what is the one? Strahd, right? Like, if I say Strahd, you already know I'm pulling out a ton of vampire crap. Like... Yeah. There's just names or, that are related. Oh uh, yeah, well everyone but you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Everyone but me because I You I are the life. you are the D and D yeah. baby. I am the D and D baby. Yeah, this is I'm I am the D and D old man. <laughs> and then there's me, that's probably the young adult. Yeah. And then you got Michael no, who is our short bus. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's <laughs> I mean, technically, I started it in three five. So true. I can't remember. No, I, I'm not gonna argue with that one. I mean, if Axel's gonna say it, I'm not gonna argue with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. certain things I don't argue with. So, uh, yeah, Mike has successfully taken down this guy, which removes that list from play. Uh, unfortunately, it is these guys' turn, and they're on the run. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, bats on the run. Wait, where's the other uh, bad guy? I can't. I don't have. Hold on. I'm pulling up Jules' message to me that has my cool, cool loots message. Cool loots. You do have cool stuff on your loot. I do. I have like a spell. I think I have levitate. You have a couple spells on that loot. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm going to throw this adventure out because I just gave you guys a bunch of magic items. Yeah, yeah. don't look at me. Oh, wait, but don't look at me. <laughs> to I be didn't... fair, it's all bad I luck. Don't, I don't I don't want to fucking talk about it. I just love it. This is exactly why these episodes need more views, I... and it's sad they don't get them for these exact situations. We don't do anything amazing. Like, we don't slay the dragon. But man, do we yeah. fuck up good. Yeah. <laughs> Real. Okay, found it. I'm gonna pin it. Okay. Um, fly. That's what I want. Fly. Oh. You now I just realized the thing has fly on there. I knew it had levitate. I couldn't remember if it had fly. She didn't never needed to fly before right now. Exactly. I ain't never needed to fly before right now. Apparently, Let's she see. likes to climb. It's a climb. Fly. Okay. Where do I find spell? What spell are you looking for? Fly. I Fly. just go to. Holy. I just go to Don John. What? Holy what? shit! Artificers get fly. Yeah. Yes. Artificers get a lot of shit. Yes, yeah. they're broken. They're new, so they're broken. Yeah. No. I, okay. There's a reason why I have a certain character in a. I think this one it's anyway. it's why whenever they introduce a new book, I wait a couple adventures to let anyone use it. <laughs> I mean, because it's always fucking broken. Oh no doubt about it. And trust me, I... they usually fix it a couple books later by adding in monsters, classes, or something else that can help deal with them. But they, when they added uh, psionics back in three five, it was the exact same way. Dude. Psionics are still fucking broken. Right, but back then they were more broken because there's <laughs> nothing to deal with them. Nothing had psionic damage resistance. It bypassed all damage resistances. There was a ton of things. It was awful. I mean, to be fair, most of, if you think about it, most of the artificers spells, if you're talking, most of them are poison or acid damage, if I remember correctly. Yeah, his spells aren't the problem. His class attributes and spell-like abilities are the ones that give me a problem. The ability to instantly imbue weapons now with magical properties is crazy strong. I mean, yeah. they get sword burst as a cantrip. Yes. Like I said, yeah, but... instant magic weapon. Level yeah, one. But... But that's, with... that's usually the damage line is magic, right? If you want to, like, make the adventure hard, you don't let your adventurers have a bunch of magic weapons because that is the damage immunity line for most monsters where it's like all right this monster is tough because it has immunity from non-magic you know what i mean yeah, attacks no, 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 i know i know i get it so it's strong like, i know but then you have cases where you're dealing with monsters it depends on the monster it, it does but those cases are supposed to be balanced out by spell spell classes right whereas hey. when you give uh when you basically eliminate the weakness of a monster or the strength of a monster for like example uh lycanthropes ghosts yeah. ghosts are a big one ghosts are like there's yeah. your one where you're like all right my barbarian is too strong i need to send something that he has a problem dealing with and then yeah. you give him a magic weapon and it's just like fuck that noise crits on magic damage axe bitch uh -huh. <laughs> i mean to be fair yeah but then there's here's the counter argument if if the barbarian is really, as we've already established, dumb and dense, yeah, it, one possession is kind of. Yeah. yeah, but that's only if his. That's only if I have a possessing ghost. There's only or, like five of those. If not that, I mean, a banshee's wail is. All right, the banshees are. Yeah, but the any any magical creature with a special effect is dangerous. For example, like if I really wanted to fuck you over, I'd just throw in six rust monsters and call it a day. You and your fucking rust monsters. 
Look, man, I don't throw them out all the time unless you're being a giant douche. <laughs> Here, uh, Florence hasn't been a giant douche. No, you guys have been fine, which is why you haven't met any rust monsters to come eat your equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm an experienced DM. I've read, I've met these problems before, Michael. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 let them get roasted a little bit more. I, I, I won't argue with that. Like I said, won't argue with Axel's. Dad. Jesus Christ! I see someone measuring from a random person. <laughs> so it just happened to be a random spot. By the way, quick question, um, uh, Axel. Yeah. Where's the second um? group of bats yeah way over here on the ship Ugh. see this arrow pointing to these guys mm -hmm. these are them so how the heck were we supposed to get all the way over there Magic. with the spell fly that i have well there yeah i was gonna say there you were originally supposed to not be seen because you had like stupid high stealth Thanks to Michael, but that didn't work out. No, I didn't. So work. then I was like, all right, well, you have. Mostly the ranged and distance abilities to catch up to them in time, but instead she like dipped back down to the floor and let them get a head start. Yeah. And then I was like, at, and then I was like, all right, at the worst case scenario, Michael has unlimited range with his bow. Uh, look, I, I was supposed to know he was going to roll a one and break his weapon. What are the chances? One in 20. I know what's going to Also, this is Michael. Said, uh, I was just like, look, I, that you had so many options to do it, and then uh, like all of them fell through the floor somehow. I mean, to be fair... Oh, but no, I can do my athletics to... Get up to the top of the roof. Like <laughs> this is a crazy one. Uh, this is a crazy one, Ashley. I have, I have an idea. You know, I have a crazy idea. If you I have want to no crazy. idea. Wait, you go first, right? Because you're in the order. Uh -huh. You know how stupid it is that you can buy subclasses from books as individual purchases, but you can't buy the actual fucking class. Yeah. Let's just not get started on the problems of D&D &D Beyond. It has many. Yeah. It's D&D. But D &D anyway, here's, here's, this, here's this crazy idea. Um, Carly, how about this? Florence catches up to Carly. Carly gives fly to Florence, and she just books it over there. I mean, I, I, Carly was just going to do that to herself. I mean... Florence uh, has haste on. Yeah. As well so as she as moves as double as her as movement as and gets extra actions for another five rounds. Uh, oh. Yeah. About for the next. Um, or no, it should be um, nine here's rounds. A, here's a quick side question. Um, at what level does my loot cast spells? Uh, it should be at, y I think it's at your level, but it might be at the level of a higher caster. Let me check. Uh, oh, salute! Bum, ba, da, da. All right, uh... Yeah, um... The spells use your spell casting ability and spell save DC. So you cast it as if it was your level. As if it was my level. E. So I can't... I can't cast it at a higher level then. Well, no, because you're not a higher level. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, can I be a big boy now? Well, when you finish all your green beans, yes. <laughs> I know. This is why I, I. This is why I was like, you know, you could probably have Florence do it because not only does she has haste on her, but also play song and all of that rash jazz. She got fully so decked out. Over here. I will book it there when my turn is there. It is actually is your, your turn. turn. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just changed it, so it is just now basically your turn, but yeah. yeah. It is now your turn. I will say, those bitches are fast. Uh, like, that was the other reason I picked them, is I knew that they could actually outrun you. 
Yeah. Not if they're dead. This is very true. Okay. I mean, that one guy you shot can't run anywhere now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three in. Wait a minute, is the bat still alive right here? This one that's right. Yeah, here? they're alive. They're just knocked out. The other one is oh. too. They're just out. Okay, I'm gonna do some measuring. Shit. Constantine. Yeah, I Constantine. Know. I hate this session. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. But you could always you could always try to run over and get your bow sooner. I hate this session so much. And the problem is, is I can only get up to eighty feet without, uh, even with the dash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can't get to this if round. Only I had a fucking bow. You say the same <laughs> that the Florence carried one. It's okay, you guys. I have a plan. Constantine. More, more specifically, a fucking long bow, not a stupid short bow. Aren't you heady? It's um, okay, you guys. I have a plan. I mean, let's see what else can I do? Just what else can I do? Constantine. Are you having the? Uh, is that uh, my biggest hint that Florence should get a hitch ride from Constantine? I mean, he's just there. He's actually mourning Mike. Florence, Mike is dead. Well, he doesn't know that. <laughs> they will call you shame until you are dead. Here's another fun question. Mm -hmm. Um, totally hypothetically. So I have two handed fighting. Or two weapon fighting, rather. Uh, my loot my loot counts as a weapon, right? Because it's my it's what I cast spells through. Um uh, hmm. what? I've never actually considered that, but I guess. Does my short or does my crossbow count as another weapon that I can use as two weapon fighting? And does that give me a second attack? <laughs> oh my god. Do you have two weapon fighting? I do have two weapon fighting. Uh, uh take an attack action and attack with O. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. It's a melee weapon. Yeah. That's why I was like different, right, melee weapon. Uh, but what, uh, Constantine does look up and he says, Constantine, with tears in his eyes. He has eyes? Well, yeah, well, he has one really big eye, actually. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh, but yeah, um. Like, have you ever, s you remember Mike Wazowski from, uh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why we called him Mike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike. I'm, I gave him his name and I forgot why. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been weird if his actual name was Mike? <laughs> his actual name could have been Mike. It actually was Mike. No, <laughs> say Nice. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, uh, it's up. It's up to you guys what you want to do. I know. I'm just okay. thinking about this. So I have a plan. I have a plan. Sure, sure, sure. Because <sighs> does not have. I mean, she you'd always do another hypnotic pattern. do another hypnotic pattern or whatever yeah because my loot would actually force disadvantage uh, i didn't these, realize before i also believe uh just fyi these guys are no longer on the roof where it's dark so yeah just letting you know that for people who know things what does that mean Nothing. Well, Techni no, technically, it's off table knowledge, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah, but yeah, I know, yeah, exactly. I don't know what it means. Nothing. <laughs> I believe in it. Anyway. Uh, oh. oh, that's an even better idea. All right. Well, while you figure out what you're doing, I gotta use the restroom, so I'll be back. 
I'm gonna draw another dot. Oh god, more dots. More dots. More dots. Oh man, I should have asked before he went if casting a spell through my loot would break concentration. And for for what? If I may. For fly. Because fly is a concentration spell, and if I were to cast hypnotic pattern, I couldn't have both, I don't think. No, you cannot. Well, fuck. Yeah, yeah, okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Mm. It's gonna require Constantine. Like, if this is field take, I can't do shit all. That head start was what. Now we're kind of. I didn't think that it would be a big threat! It was. I'm just gonna quote you. It was a future use problem, and when she didn't like future use problem. Past me is a dumbass. You said it, not me. Cause I have said, I have said, I've warned. Did I not? When? Don't you think that I've said that a few times? Where? How? Who? Currently. What? Currently. Yes? You know darn well I have said it before. I have probably given you, you can almost feel the look that in character and out of character me has given when you have said, it's a future me problem. I didn't say it this time. I know, but all the other times. <laughs> I thought I was doing good this time, but... <laughs> I like how this is when he finally realized Floors might have been onto something. I haven't realized anything. I refuse to learn lessons. I see that. I see that. That's why Florence. There's also that part of the reason why Florence is just like, you know, let that lesson sink. Probably viewed as a little constant, but you know, never. They never said elves are nice. Yeah. <laughs> Especially ones that you know. That are secretly like goblins or whatever. Oh, no, I'm not spoiling what the heck I know, because I already know the answer to what the heck these things are. I know. Are they werebats? I... What gave you the hint? Was it when I mentioned the silver? I mean, I think it was that time you said werewolf, actually. Yeah. Did I say werewolf? I thought <laughs> I said lycanthrope. Yeah. No, yeah, you said werewolf. Yeah. But I do know what a lycanthrope is. There's that, too. I mean, who doesn't at this point, thanks to the Twilight? I mean, Nobody watches Twilight. I <laughs> had a major Twilight phase in high school. Do not, do not come at me here. I will come all over that fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. Vampires don't sparkle. Yeah, no, that, that, that was 
my point. That was my point when I heard, first heard that shit. Most, like, mostly just for the... Look, here's the thing. I like vampires. And I like werewolves. You know what I don't like? Twilight! No, just kidding. I read, <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. I've actually read all the books, so... I can't say yeah, shit. Yeah, too, and I, I am, I am as a fully grown adult person with complex literary analysis skills because I was an English major in college. I can look at that book and say it's not good. But I like it. But I like it. Yeah, there's the, the, it has, it has the foundational part in my in my upbringing. Yeah. Because I loved it so much, is what got me into reading. It's what got me into being an English major. But I will also say that uh, having your werewolf who is who is uh portrayed as who is classically realized as this sort of savage beast monster having that be a native american person with short hair that's kind of oh there was a ton of like stuff like that don't get me started not to mention that it's overall writing literary qualities are just like meh at best it's not bad in any terms it's just not a excellent piece of writing in any shape or form. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's accurate. Cause even I... Come at us, Twilight fans! No, so... I know, oh, you know what? Prove me wrong. Talk to me, prove me wrong. Right? You can't. It's like, talk to my major. No, so... Yeah, let... okay, let me show you my English degree, motherfucker. Yeah, it's like people trying to argue about 96k with me. It's, just, it's not real, okay? <laughs> Exactly. I don't know what that exactly. Means. Nobody does, because it doesn't exist. It's not real. I mean, it is. It is real. I mean, it means state that it just doesn't matter. I mean, then there's the fact that I've. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I got halfway through Twilight, and then I was like, the fucking half of this madness, and went on to a different series. Let me just be honest. Yeah, fair. Although I think I was like young. thirteen yeah, I was when it came. Young. Uh, yeah, I was 13 when I was in my Twilight phase. Yeah, that's understandable. That's why, bro. <laughs> so that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. The only thing um, I I have to say is nothing. I mean, to be like I said, to be honest, I, I did like another series that probably not many of you care for. It was the uh, it was a series that um it was Scott Westfield. Ooh, uh, pretties? Uglies? Yeah. Uglies. Pretty uglies, uglies, as well as, I th Extras and specials, I think? Yeah, and also he did another series, too. They did another series. I forgot what the name oh. of it is. I've um, read that series, too. Yeah, so you know which series I'm talking about, not just those, t uh, the pretty uglies and that. Um, yeah, I can't, I cannot for the life of me remember what the series is that you're talking about i know i like i've read it i know i have because i read a bunch of scott westerfield but i can't remember the title uh um, let me go back to reading more i miss reading uh, i didn't know i wish i could hold my i wish something could hold my attention anymore i think that's partially my problem but i really just don't exercise the time necessarily right like even if yeah. i like a story i just don't sit down and read because i got other shit going on the ugly series, and then it was the Secret Hour, the Midnighters. Yes, that was it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're <laughs> we're simpatico, Jewel. Axel, my suggestion to you: audiobooks. I don't have time for those either, though, because the reason I can't read or do anything is I'm working on audio. <laughs> oh, touche. Well, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I know. I can't. <laughs> like Are when you I'm ever working out or driving. No. Neither of those there. things basically ever. <laughs> Never. I haven't worked out in like 10 years or some shit. Mood. Mood. And I yet I still look like a... Cool. Well, I don't look like a physical Adonis. I kind of look like a lump. But still. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm not fat anymore. I mean, I'm a little fat. But I'm not as fat as I used to be. Uh, Michael will tell you. Goodness. Michael will tell you. I'm, I'm just the right amount of squishy. Indeed, he is. Like, I'm huggable. I'm also yeah. fuzzy, I weigh, so. I think I weigh almost 300 pounds. I mean, it's all relative. If you feel healthy, that's the important part. Oh, I don't. All right, Whatever. well, then that's not good. No, it's not. I have a problem. And most people but do. I'm working on it. As I'm long as you're actually, working on it. Like, I'm not doing, like, working out yet. I keep been, telling like... people you don't actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a great right like it helps a super ton to like work out yeah, right yeah. you don't have to work out to eat weight or to lose weight you can just change what you eat that's how i lose True. weight i change how and what i eat and i fucking yeah. i think i fluctuate between 200 and 160 pounds my problem is i live with my mom still and she's a hoarder so like i don't have a stove or a microwave that work i don't like an mm. oven i don't have that I yeah, have, you, those like, are part of a fridge. you should get a crock pot you're the second person who's told me that actually i when i lived by myself that was one of my and granted it's all about how you cook but it, it it's nice to just be able to sit something in go to work and come back and have food I used to do it for beans, so like I'm not the best example, but like I, you could get a little home crock potter and for like twenty bucks, it's really pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, work. Oh. but that that's my suggestion. Uh, either that or a hot plate, um, to cook. They're also yeah. ru also roughly twenty or thirty dollars if you can't. Oh shit! I missed a call from someone. Oh no. That's fine. I'm in the middle of this anyway. I'll call him back. He he's probably just asking if I'm coming by this weekend to fix the cameras on his house. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what were we doing? Um, Florence did her eighty movement and then wondered how, how the fuck she's getting the across, the rest across. Constantine is gonna uh gonna make his way over there. He's gonna follow you. Okay, all so right, and that's it. Constantine are gonna yeah, no, Constantine's nowhere near as fast as you. Sorry about that. <laughs> like he's he's coming but he's coming but it's slowly yeah but yeah no no but yeah that series those two series were actually really good i, I really read it. what started me was the midnighters then i had found the pretty series See, the midnighter sounds familiar but i don't remember what i think is a really good series uh a really good like young adult middle grade series is uh, the Percy Jackson books. The first series is okay, but then you get into the second series, House of Heroes, and you get like, you get like gay representation in the fourth book. You get more, uh, um, you get a more variance of like racial diversity in the se in the second series, uh, I mean, and it's just like overall better. I mean, I it, I don't have a problem with it, but it, uh, by the time I heard about Percy Jackson, it was when they had the movies, oh, and, the I movies. And, and it was just that after the whole Twilight thing, I was just like, nope, get nope, I'm not dealing with the Percy Jackson series if it's gonna end up being like the hype train that a uh, train wreck that was Twilight. I was we really sad to see the my favorite uh kids series book, not yeah. it didn't do well as a movie. What was it? Uh, Guardians yeah. of Gaul. Oh. It's a really interesting book series in the original because it has very heavy allegories to child trafficking mm. and a bunch of other stuff, like just a huge number of weird, like cultism, bunch of shit. But it didn't do great on the big screen. I was yeah. really sad about That's that. That's generally what ends up happening to a lot of <laughs> books, and it's just like it runs that risk. That's why I was like, I was, because I had seen the uh, no offense, but I had read half of the series, then the uh, half of the Twilight series, and then I had seen the movie, at least the first movie, and I was not a fan of it. So I was like, I don't want to end up doing that, doing that to myself for the Jackson series. Okay. So, uh, how are we dealing with these bats, boys and girls? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I can't do shit, Jackson, at all, because um, have... it's just yeah. a little too far away. DM. Yes. If I cast a spell through my loot, I already got confirmation from the other two, but I want DM, I want God to tell me. If I were to cast a spell through my loot, would that break concentration on spell that I would hold in my, in my person? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Fuck. That's not the answer I wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, that, that answer doesn't change, because... <laughs> right. right, right, right. 
Um, I will say that this is one specialty of the Dos loot you might not know. When the instrument is used to cast a spell that causes the target to become charmed on a failed save, the targets have disadvantage on the saving throw. Yeah. But yeah. Besides that, uh, no, sorry. I don't, um, we'll see anything about that. I was hoping to be able to cast Fly and use Hypnotic Pattern in the same series of actions, but I can't, so I'll use the Modron in a minute. But uh, in the meantime, Hypnotic Pattern. All right. In that blue circle right there. That is just interesting. Anyway, yes, um, we we'll make some saving rolls. A disadvantage. Oh shit! It is a disadvantage. You just said that. Well, no, those those saving rolls are if they've been affected. Oh 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 oh. Yeah, they those were are... affected before. Right, but they're not affected now. What it's saying is the saving throw to get out of the spell once they've been spelled is harder. Okay. Uh, having said that, luckily for you, these guys. Actually, what's the save for again? 16, I think? No, 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 no. What's stat? Oh, uh, wisdom. That's what I thought. That is exactly yeah, what I thought. So, uh, luckily for you, uh, not all three of these get stuck right here. Awesome. So they're just kind of like, mm. say, and then I turn and I say, Mike. Mike? Mike? Mike's down. Shit. I'm just learning that in character. I know. Good job. Thank oh, you. Shit. That's a good that's a good job. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. And I say I need to fly over there right now. Quickly. Please. Constantine. Constantine. Who the fuck are you? Who is you? Constantine. The real question is who remembers the second Modron's name? I don't remember. It's just funny because he's the one you gave your shit to. Yeah. Go back later. Like, anyone seen, uh, uh, Chad? Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go, Chad. Chad. So, you know what? You know what? Carly didn't hear it. No, but you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, Carly, you've you've got him distracted. You've done your thing. If you want right. to talk to anybody to communicate, now is the time. Yeah, I had, I had. You know, so that way you guys have a concerted plan without, you know, maybe telepathically telling each other in some kind of out of table, out of body experience. Sorry. Mm. Oh, oh, right. I'm just trying to run and get the get the payas. So I've have them I have them stuck there. And my plan is to get close enough to be within uh 60 feet, not 30 feet, 60 <laughs> feet and cast shatter to hit all three. Except for Payas. That's my plan. Okay, then. And then hopefully, hopefully, we did is enough damage to kill them. I don't think it will be, though. But that's my plan. And that's my turn. Alrighty, that makes it Mega's Den. Okay. Question is, what is he gonna do? Yeah, that's that is that isn't really the question. Or maybe, question. who is he gonna do? Hey, where's Chad? He's coming back. Okay. He is actually on his way back down. You could try to meet him halfway. Or maybe closer. Well. 
since I can't do any ranged attacks right now, and definitely can't reach those, uh, Wedge is going to, uh, dash. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's uh he's gonna he's gonna dash over here and stand on top of this table. Okay. Uh, hey. you guys are you guys are also on the roof. Just a quick reminder. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. There is actually a table on the roof. <laughs> There's no one up there gambling today. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm, yeah, that's uh, how I'm gonna that's, nice. that's how I'm getting away with not making a roof. There is actually the exact same layout on the roof, but no one up there. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, so uh, that's, that's what he start until he gets his bow back, and then he's gonna break the string again because luck. You really should have asked him to bring some backup strings. Well, I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. Moral of the story today. Have backups. Things break. This is like, I'm just saying, man, things break. Okay? Not always this hilariously, but they break. Uh, and I'm about to break. Uh, all right, these guys are now charmed as fu and have disadvantage on their. Oh, you are so lucky. God damn. Jesus! I'm so mad. Every single one of those guys would have gotten out had you not done that spell of the loot. Whoa! All right, except for that one guy. He crit failed. Fuck you. Fuck that guy. He's so charmed. Um, and with that, we got... He's on the horizon. Who's he... on the horizon? What? Chad. 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 Touché. And, uh, yeah, those guys stepped up, so now it is Florence's turn. And they're off in the ditch. Yeah, they're pretty far. Quick question, how far is it just to jump all the way over there? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't remember what your strength is, but if I remember it's directly proportionate to that somehow. I know we've looked this up before. That It irritates the balls out of me when I know I've looked it up before and I can't remember. But I know I we've done this... It's 10 plus your strength score, I think. Jumping, right? Jumping, right? Uh, yeah. In this case, it would... Yeah, your jumping is determining how far you jump. If you're doing a long jump, cover... Cover a number of feet up to your strength score. If you move at least 10 feet on foot before making the jump, then you make it a standing tall jump. You leave only half the disc. Either way, you could assume your height doesn't matter, of your jump doesn't matter, such as jumping across a stream or a cha chasm, edge your DM's option, strength, athletics check to clear the low, op uh, low ops. No <laughs> if you're making an eye jump. It depends on what kind of jump you're doing. I'm gonna say that either way, you're probably not making 50 feet. Oh, I know. Fuck that. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of ways, because I didn't pick up fly. Because it's okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for a run. Same, same. This is what this boiled down to, because fly... So we have one minute. Until... Yeah. To be fair, it's yeah. it only take Constantine, like, a quarter of that to get over there. Yeah, 
Modrons are not the fastest. Oh, I'm, no. I'm also fairly certain they shouldn't be strong enough to carry anybody, but I have made it so. Yeah, no. I know. We have decreed it. I have decreed. God has changed these Modrons. They have <laughs> names. These are special Modrons. They really are. In many, many ways. Yeah, but you can see why I'm trying. I'm trying. It's shit. Because the only other thing I can think of doing is someone needs some. Um, this is why. This is why I had the running gag joke with my Artisopher. More specifically, the alchemist yeeting her homunculus, and that's the first thing that's coming through my head. Of yeeting. Um... Look, does anyone have small person or whatever shrink person? You just throw a bitch next. <laughs> I know, but I mean, we can eat, eat, eat Ursul. I just love the one, uh, the one meme where it's, uh, new D and D player. I have made my character to be an exact physical copy and representation of myself. Veteran D and D player. My character is just a piece of bread that carries itself around with mage hand. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then there's me that probably has a dozen characters, but probably has notes on them. That's probably the I, only thing that probably is D&D related and has notes on it. That's I only it. have Carly and copy of Carly. Um, wait a minute. What about the other character for that? Text? Oh, I do have Havira. I have her too. Hav yeah. Havira? I can't remember how I had it pronounced. <laughs> I have yeah, way oh, too many like characters. Funny. Um, wait a minute. Don't you have... I don't want to talk about having way too many characters. Yeah. No, her name was <laughs> Let's talk right? about it. Like All these characters Michael makes just to kill him off in the first eight episodes when he doesn't like what happens. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna jump off a mountain. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't tried to kill himself yet. Uh, you know, he did, but I just didn't let him. Yeah, basically, so, well, I mean, basically, like, this episode uh, oh. Now he figures it's just gonna happen naturally. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, Florence. I mean, I do have a lot of other characters I can play as, but you know, I like to keep Florid for a little bit longer. Because I have a lot. It should be a fucking crime. <laughs> it should be a fucking crime, and I know it should be. I mean, let's not. I don't get to keep it. Florence, was that your turn, though? Are you done? Yeah. Because she can't. Unless we want to agree to eat, uh, eat, um, Ursul across the ga- uh, uh, <laughs> No, absolutely not. I don't trust that. No, no, no. I mean, that's I'm an weak. idea. I mean, that's an idea. I mean, uh, last, last time we have eaten through something, it had... Because it was, um... Gosh dang it. It's from that one ma module, Plum Mountain. And it's that room that is... Full, uh, that pretty much says, forget any form of flying magic. <laughs> Yeah, Axel knows what the hell I'm talking about. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. so it had to have to have some form of innate flying ability, you know, wing. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that came to my mind was like, okay, well, we can always have one idea. In one instance, we eat the homunculus. <laughs> Thus, this joke has never died. I don't it. think a nine hits this one, right? Oh, especially because it's supposed to be a disadvantage, so give me one second. Wait a minute, why are you trying to hit them? Um, because they're carrying away my payas. And I'm waiting for my Modron to come get me. What are you hitting them? Oh, with the crossbow. With my crossbow, and because they're more than 80 feet away... I get disadvantage, so it's a nine to hit I mean, this one, and I don't her, think it does. What kind of crossbow is it? A crossbow? It, it's her yeah. flame. Yeah, yeah, but is it a light one or a heavy one? A light one. But isn't it more than eighty feet? Its range is eighty to three hundred and twenty feet, but at but after the first number, anything more than that first number, you get disadvantage. Anything more than that second number, you just don't hit. Unless you have a specialty like Michael's. Yeah. Or if you picked up crossbow, ex uh, crossbow expertise, if I'm correctly. Something like that. I have proficiency in crossbow. 
No, they're for feet. Okay. Then no. I don't have that. I, I tried. Uh, so I'm just sitting here waiting for my Modron to come carry me across the river. And that's my turn. All right. I mean, I think that's going to be a lot of people's turns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm patiently waiting for my bow. All right, the Modron sprinted, so one, two, three. But now he's tired. Oh, no. Oh, well, I, I suppose I can actually uh, move a little closer <laughs> he's, for him. He's just yelling out with no breath. Chad! Chad! <laughs> you can do it, Chad! You Chad! can do it! That's when, that's when Carlos just reaches out of the sea and eats Chad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking funny. That's that's my favorite <laughs> Even above constant. Below. Oh, Constantine. sorry. That's what I meant. Is even below Constantine? <laughs> he has a better name. Uh, it's fair. But Chad's a total Chad. I'm gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For those who at home didn't know gays don't like Chad. No, I'm just kidding. It's true. <laughs> there, the... If you're little Chad, we fight on sight. With his knuckles on the sight, boys. <laughs> Catch them heads. No bodies. Hands? All right. Hands. Hands. It all depends on where you were from. Catching the heads used to mean... uh. Bare fist fighting that included punches to the face. Bodies is bare really? fist fighting that only includes blows to the body. Catching hands is just whatever. You're about to catch these hands, oh. boy. Damn, I learned something today. I mean, I'm sure the vernacular changes everywhere. That's the thing is like it's all vernacular based because like, yeah, for, for example, I know one is like bones for some people. Bones is uh, shooting dice and for some people bones is uh, dominoes. And the the only difference yeah. I was ever able to make is like you're if you're laying bones, you're playing dominoes. If you're shooting bones, it's dice. But if someone just says you want to play bones, you could honestly get either of those depending on where you are in America. Hmm. Or the I world, I language. guess. Yeah. English. Kind of a language. Alright, these guys are gonna try to escape again. Disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. God damn, my rolls are ass now. Where did all my good rolls go? I, I used them abusing Michael today. Yeah, yeah, essentially. <sighs> to be fair, those were all his rolls. It wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, Michael, we love you. We love you, Michael. Yep. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we appreciate the humor. Because trust me, it was definitely five bucks of watching that. The popcorn. I wish I had popcorn. But oh, dude, you know, that's the one great thing about this is I, I want at one point I would love to scour the footage or God forbid we ever got fans to make highlight clips for us to, to get a good cut of all the ridiculous bullshit that goes on. Because <laughs> it, dude, if I had to number the amount of times like I, I was going through the D&D &D episodes because I was reordering the YouTube playlist today or the other day because my oh God, I had to look through every video. Uh, and rename it and title it and connect it to the next video. It was awful. We have like 1,600 different videos on the channel. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I said, I would totally get behind the idea of doing that. It's like so the idea of what it loved. To, I would love to do the animatic for some of these scenes. The animatics, I, I think, would be so great. Like, and that's why I was saying, like, I was looking through. I'm like, well, which episodes do we ha actually have? And I'm looking like one of the first episodes is just Velios versus Door. Yeah, no, yeah. Don't worry, a couple episodes after that, it was Velios versus Environment. Yeah, trust me. There's everybody <sighs> that laughs at every shit show. It, everybody <laughs> everybody has one. It's great. There's always I something. Uh, it the just one... seems like a lot of them are wedge. Well, are you tend to take risks, and that results in ups or downs. I don't understand how the heck did I make Chloe, and I'm... Chloe is... A conundrum. We don't talk I'm going about back in the years. Do it for the vine. Do it for the memes. No, 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 no. The cool. 
Oh, Chloe was the ex real reason I think that I face palmed on the inside of what possessed me to think this was a good idea. There were a couple things that everyone did. I remember. Oh God. But then again, mine's kind of panned out in the stupid good way since it was a halfling. Well, yeah, you mean because you got to re-roll your ones? I can't yeah. count the number of times where you would have been so screwed without that ability. Oh, I know. All right, uh, but it's your turn. If there's anything you want to, like, think about doing, or maybe concoct a plan, maybe tell Constantine he has a cool-looking wing. Thumbs up to towards him and say, we're, uh, you're picking up one of us, and... Hopefully, uh, dropping us, uh, dropping us off, so we can catch up to the bats. Constantine. Are they, are they flying or are they just, you know? Just... Uh, currently he is walking actually, but the other ones are flying. To be fair, his fly and walk speed are the same. Yeah. Fucking dweeb. Yeah. You know. Constantine, looks like you get fucking demoted. No, Constantine. I mean, no. <laughs> No, no, I was talking about the bats. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, they're yeah. flying still, because they've technically... That's why I was looking to see technically what incapacitated was, but it's technically can't move and can't act. But it doesn't yeah. say that you can't stand or continue being do like where you were. So yeah, say you were that. holding something, I feel like it's kind of like immobilized, even though it's not technically immobilized. I know, but are they currently... Flying or is it yeah, they're they're flying. Those guys are flying. All of those guys. Constantine walking. Okay, okay, but um, the bats are. Is giving his wings a rest. How high in the air they are they? Uh, I'd say probably about fifty feet. Because they went up get a bit. My happy ha get my happy ass over there. I'm gonna have to try to. Are we gonna have a moment where we we're gonna repeat the AU joke of? Lauren's trying to stab feet. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, caught what I just said. Again. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Thank you. At least I know that someone's actually paying attention to the shenanigans that Lauren's Oh, doing. that reminds me. I smack your arm and I say, hey, um, like in the distance there a little bit, you kind of see that weird flickering air. Mm -hmm. Referring to this blue yeah, circle. The don't look at that. Don't look at that. Stay 30 feet away from it. Meanwhile, Wedge is just like, don't look at what? And turns and says, <laughs> Well, I'm more than 30 feet away from both of them. So. I know, but I'm just kidding. Shit. I know, I know. We're just <laughs> we gotta roast you today, Michael. It's, it's Wedge roasting day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I didn't get the memo, apparently. Look, look, here's here's the thing. Everybody, uh, I'll, I'll go compare it to construction. When you work construction, there's always one dude on the ladder, right? Mm -hmm. and everybody who's not on the ladder talks shit about him because he's taken forever on the ladder until they get on the ladder and realize, oh, yeah, it's harder on the ladder, and you know, it's my turn on the ladder today, and everyone's going to talk shit about me. <laughs> today is your turn on the ladder, Wedge. Next week it will I, be me. Just wait until I get my bow back. I'm just gonna shoot everyone in the face. <laughs> to be fair, out of character and in character, we're out of character. Yeah, we're giving shit to Wedge, but in character, he doesn't. This. He doesn't know we're talking shit about him. <laughs> exactly. He feels the, the in the force. He feels he feels the disturbance in the force of two women gossiping about him. I bet then again he signed up for this. One of them was willing to go somewhere else. It's true. One of them was willing to go somewhere else with the shenanigans. And they I didn't. would not let you. I know. So who's really at fault here? Oh, all of this is my doing. <laughs> Imagine that. You don't know. Oh no, you're not allowed in this in this kind of game. You're not allowed to bring the AU into this. Imagine that. No, don't metagame one of, me. One one of Ashley's characters again puts us in a fighting predicament. Oh, don't shit. no no don't metagame me. Wig doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I just, uh, I just want to point out everybody had every chance to do anything in there. This is, uh, 
I think it was a group decision to sit back and let Carly do what she was doing. Yeah, so I'm just saying that. inaction is an action too, okay? <laughs> yeah, I just want to remind you that you're over here like she's gonna get us in trouble. Watch her open this door, look at it. Watch she's gonna open it. Oh my god, she did it. <laughs> That's the still it. Once again, I like to just give you just enough rope to hang yourselves with. Yeah, just yeah, and enough. in this case, the Florks did the same thing. Let them see how far they can get themselves in without no. Oh, no. oh shit. In yeah. my bonus action from my last turn, I didn't do anything in my bonus action. Can I retroactively look and see if they're all running together or if she's being carried? One more time. In my bonus action from my last turn, can I retroactively look and see if she's being carried or if she's being, uh, uh, if she's walking on her own? Who the uh the the uh, chick? Yeah. You want the one that's fifty feet in the air? Do you believe so? Right. Just wanted to be sure. Um, I don't hear any Carly response. Oh no! Did we lose her? I think so. Because, uh oh. Uh, My internet might have cut. Or Discord finally decided to update itself. You know. There we I go. Know. There. Uh, uh, okay. Let me guess. Update. D and D broke. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Discord broke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of yeah. figured. Um, but I guess, I guess, uh, she's not walking on her own because she's flying 50 feet in the air. <laughs> I felt Did bad for a second. Like... I was like, was I too mean? Was that too much? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> so, so can I look instead and see if she is being held against her will or being, uh, consensually held? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What do I roll for that? I guess just first step. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Okay. I'm. I'm always kind of like iffy on the new ones because once again they're so kind of loose and sometimes arbitrary. I feel like twelve. Um, it's a little tough to tell from this distance, obviously. Uh, being so far away. I mean, you're like a hundred feet out. Your take. A mm -hmm. bit more. Um, does they don't seem to they, they seem like they're just not really moving that much, but it might also be because they're currently uh endazzled or whatever. Okay, bedazzled, bedoozled, okay. bejeweled. I don't know. Uh, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, she can't think of much to do other than yeah. I mean, yeah. it's you gotta wait for Constantine. I understand. Yeah, and even then. Well, Chad's on his way too. Yeah, but also, although Chad's gotta Chad... drop off with Michael. Yeah, but my only thing is, even if when she gets over there, here's my problem: they're fifty feet in the air. Yeah, that's not gonna hurt or help a lot. Sorry, yeah, it's not gonna help a lot. I mean, I'm gonna fucking backpack on toupees. I mean, you'll still technically have your Modron. They can fly up. True. Yeah. They're just gonna take a while. They're not that fast. For Modrons. But anyway, that's my turn. Anyway, alrighty. That makes it Michael time. No. Chad. I know. I'm just kidding. It's not Michael's turn. Damn it. <laughs> I just had to give him the thing. He's so close, Michael. Look, look how close he is. You could throw a rock and hit him. But I'm not going to. That'd be stupid. Yeah. How do I, I mean, do advantage? Uh, what do you mean? How do I roll two dice at once and make it... With your work? bonuses? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> The only real way to do it is to do two different rolls. How does Jewel do it? Oh well, she's using uh, she's using the page. Sorry, if you wanted to do that, you gotta like upload your shit. Oh fuck that. No, I, that don't work. 
because uh she what she's doing is yeah she's she uses the actual uh like function page which i mean it's not that hard honestly yeah but i'm lazy yeah me too i, I suppose don't suppose you could always do it like that you can well, once again you could do it that way uh, but the, the problem is then it's puts them together yeah i could 20. i could technically write a complex uh thing for it right like if i want because it's just a math problem yeah that one gets hit i assume if his armor class is less than 20 yeah no it's it's you got it okay so it's not this one it's this one right here all right so you're trying to damage it then yes and take it out of its stupor mm -hmm. okay i just want to be sure just the one. Because even if he is out of his stupor, he'll need at least two actions to wake his friends. Uh, what do I roll? 1d8 plus 3. Axel, I tagged you in d, &D memes. Oh no, is it a good On one? Discord. Is it a good one? Uh, you might enjoy it. Okay, so he gets six piercing damage. <laughs> Sorry, I took that to a whole nother level. I don't think anybody can fuck with me on that. <laughs> I took the whole bitch to a different level. I mean, to be fair, yes, but... 16 damage total. Oof. All right, that's a, that's a rough one there. That'd be six piercing and ten fire. Oh, that's, well, yeah, but it's still magic, so, yeah. Still whole, oh, but, see, that's what always gets me. I gotta go look up some of those things, because that, that was the whole forum I was looking at where they were talking about some of this shit. What? So certain things, like, right, will have damage magic and then non-magic, but certain things have only magic damage resistance, or certain magic damage, like magic fire damage resistance. It's weird. These don't, but some of them do, and so it's weird the way they interact. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out this other thing. Anyway, that still hits. Uh, that guy's awake now. Um, is he, or is it, did he have to roll? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure damage just wakes him up. Let me check. Damage would break the charm. You're right. I'm pretty sure on that. I mean, I'm not always 100%, but it yeah, is correct. the way it is. Uh. Okay. Yeah. That's the end of my turn. Wedge, you're up. Chad. Unfortunately, Chad is after you because he went after you gave him the bow. Such is the way of turn order. <sighs> I'm going to angrily flip off fucking God. <laughs> Just flip off God. <laughs> All right. Well, that's your turn, and Chad has come and given you your bow. Yes, my bow. I kissed the bow. Well, I guess he brought you a string, technically, but... And the bow. And it's strung. I, I kissed the bow. <laughs> Roll a d20. What? What? I'll just do it. God damn, I hate you. Don't ask questions, do it. Oh. Alrighty. Good to know. I hate you. What Look, happened? you're gonna I, I don't really what... hate me when you figure out what I, happened. I don't I don't know what fucking happened, but I fucking hate you. I hate this game. I hate this session. Mike, do you need a hug? Yeah, and that's and that's what I would say, but then there's the mm. I'm not sure you get you. <laughs> M Miku, do you need a hug? I will give you a hug, Miku. I, I, I need the rolls to not be fucking shit. <laughs> do that for you, Miku. Oh wait, wait, it's supposed to be GM roll. I might be. Oh, if I do that correctly. Aha! It didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? I don't worry about it. Anyway. I will worry about it. Well, it wasn't something for you to worry about, so don't worry about it. 
I'll worry about it. All right, you worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Um. So Chad Bray of the Weapon, it's this dude's turn. He's going to use uh, both turns to attack because he gets two attacks. Who's he going to attack? I'll give you one good guess. It's attacking the uh, pay as imposter. Uh, no, he attacked his homies. Wake them up. <laughs> yeah. So they are now all awake. That would have been funny. But they don't get turns. No, they don't get turns, unfortunately, because they had to wake up. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's pretty much all they can do. Oh, also, I almost forgot. Ha ha! Constantine! Constantine! But yeah, whoever wants to take Constantine. Take Constantine, Florence. Florence? Oh, me. Me, me. <laughs> I, had, I forgot to unmute. So if I forget the... It's all good. One. Um, but I'm wondering, because you're you use a melee ma magic weapon. Um, not melee, but range and magic weapon, right? Mm hmm And which you're gonna need range for that, right? Mm hmm Why don't you take um Constantine and I? You hit me with the fly spell. I for turn order. That was just basically turn order. I know. What I was gonna do was cast fly on myself and then just shoot them with my crossbow. Yeah, but the thing is, it gives you six feet. Yeah, it gives me 60 feet. Because my initial range is only 30 feet. So you're how you will bump, bump the mic. If you have the haste spell, you can still do more actions and you are more likely to have ranged damage spells. So I would just say you take the. No, I don't actually have ranged spells. Why don't you have ranged spells? She's a, a she's a blade singer. She's, she's a fucking support wizard who doesn't melee well. Oh, fuck. <sighs> it's just hard to hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would you blame me for doing something a little bit on? I mean, <laughs> she's the opposite of a regular wizard, which is a glass cannon. She is an mm -hmm. iron squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's about right with her damage output. I just say that's it's once again it's fine. It's like that, and that's why I'm I tell people it. there's like there's different ways to play wizards. They're a very versatile class thanks to subclassing, but still. They, I love how that. I love that phrasing. I love the phrasing for that, and it's great you. because I've I've managed to solve Michael, and it's great. Fucking hell! Because I still have to. I still have to fucking concentrate on fly. Yeah. And, and go do your turn. Do your turn. I mean, I can always hold an action, right? No, it's fine. Do your turn. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to take Constantine over there, and that's the thing. Do your turn! <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, God damn it! I thought you knew. I thought you realized it did not take any range spells. No! <laughs> I don't look at your spell sheet! I understand that, but, um. Let's be realistic here. Why the actually mad lad good saying in me, in me would take range spells when I use a rapier that is more close to range? Um, to do damage before you actually approach them? Yeah. Yeah, but you kind of. But you know what? But it's in character. Like, as well as Michael has made me kind of um, unnerved about using any range spells. Yeah, I did. I did have like a mini freak out when I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna use the spell," and I was like, "Wait." Yeah, exactly. Welcome to what we all. Have. <laughs> He's done a number. Michael's given us all PTSD. Yeah, to a degree. Just only dealing with his. Only when dealing with his. Do your spell. Do your do your thing. Yeah. I believe in you all. Even even wedge. I don't. 
<laughs> just I don't. <laughs> you really won't after you really figure out what I did to that bow. I fucking hate you. Look, you're just yeah, mad that I'm I... creative. Yeah, I really want to know what you did to that bow. Everybody does. I'm, I'm kind of curious too. Because I'm gonna honestly... type it in the stream. No one look. I like yeah, to tell. Yeah, I what? I like to tell the viewers so they know I'm not bullshitting when I say I have some of this planned. I knew it! I knew it! I knew I was gonna hear that. That back. It's his favorite one. It really is my favorite. It's his favorite. He's like, me 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 me. Exactly. He's hundred percent Cartman in that moment. That's just what he does. It's like, can it be that other people don't like butt farts? No. Totally go straight to the Cartman. Okay, it's the Cartman invitation. He goes straight to using the apartment invitation. It's in your hate. <laughs> Holy crap. Um. But wait, um. Alright, there we go. Now the crowd knows. Maybe. Actually, shit. I think I keep that section covered with a motherfucking graphic. Oh no, I changed it. Cool. Ha. <laughs> Look, I'm getting better sometimes. It's not always the same mistakes. We still got a lot to improve on, but, you know. Yeah. Really, we just need more channel art. <laughs> but I can't draw worth Jack! And I, it's not that I don't want to, but, uh... But, I mean, when, you're, when you do things for a living, you know, you gotta get paid to do them. That's how it works. Yeah. Except for Michael. Right, well, Michael's my slave. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. If that's for the I know. I will. Gonna... So, wait, can we, uh, can I ask a question, Axel? Ye. Can Florence hold an action? Uh, pre like a prepared action, basically? Is that what you're asking? Kind of like a reaction prep? No, more of just an action to prepare once certain things are, you know, require uh prerequisite like, well it sounds yeah it sounds like what you're trying to do is a prepared action yeah, I think let so. me double check it uh yeah uh sorry action. no it's called the ready action mm -hmm. uh so from the ready action <clears throat> uh you basically use your action to prepare for another person's cue uh, let me double check it. Okay. I gotta sure. don't. I just don't remember the exact wording. Uh, uh sometimes you want to get a, a jump on a foe or wait for a particular uh, circumstances before you act to do so. You take the ready action on your turn, which which lets you act later in the round. Action yeah. Before the start of your next turn. Yeah, it's a possibility trigger is the ready action. Uh, there are downsides to it. Uh, one is that it takes up any reactions. Yeah. So you can't do any reactions. You can't move as part of a readied action. That is an idea, but it's the same. And a, and a readied action would count as a concentration count. So, like, were you to ready a spell, that would kill the concentration on any other spell you had been concentrating on. Yeah. Yeah, on your haste. Would her haste impact her uh, fly speed? Yes. Cool, cool. So you can move 120 feet in a turn, I at, think. At least as far as I understand it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't matter. It should make your speed double, no matter how you move. It doesn't yeah, so like specify. Yeah, you should be able so. to move. Yeah, you should be able to move 120 feet without even dashing. Yes. Yeah. And so you she, should be good. And then she just has to use charm. <laughs> just look at me. See, that's when you could cast hypnotic pattern behind her. Just bam. Okay, instantly. 
<laughs> fucked. No, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I assume that you guys are flying over there doing something, something like that. What, whatever's yeah, going I'm on. waiting for Florence to tell me if she's done with her turn. Yeah, I might as well just wait. I cast fly on Florence. All right. And that, uh, and how fast do the, the Modrons move? The Modrons? 30 feet. That's, yeah, that's the big problem. Yeah, <laughs> the Modrons yeah, only move so slow. fucking fast. They're really yeah, that, slow. Yeah, that's why I was like, you know what? Cast. <laughs> that's why I was like, cast fly on me and I can gut it. Can I control the Modron on my turn? I mean, he just moves with you. He goes where you tell him to. Okay, then I'm right there. All right. So I've done my action and my movement. Constantine. And for a bonus action, for a bonus action I'm going to say... For everyone who didn't care, Constantine has a look of determination on his face. <laughs> Constantine's my second favorite Modron. Constantine. I flip off that guy in particular. <laughs> then I'm done. He's taking it as a personal challenge. Good. Bring it on, bitch. Come get some. It's really hard to tell, but he is also flipping you off. Just wanted to know that. Bitch. Anyway, uh, it is finally Wedge's turn. Yay. And he has Yay. his bow. An unlimited Huzzah. shooting range. <laughs> well, I six or eight. That's basically unlimited in this game. That's like the whole map. Even this <laughs> big ass map, that's like the whole map. Like, look. He has a large 600 map. feet right there, all the way across the fucking map. Yeah. Anywho, I'm going See, to. See, so, uh... so anyone who complains about the big maps is because I have to do it so that Michael can use his full bow. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna use a bonus action to use a second level Hail of Thorns. All right. And I'm going to uh, fire at this motherfucker here. All right. So I just want you to know. I swear to God, if you roll another motherfucking one. I know we're all dying on the inside if this happens. I. I, I it's I, over. I, the the adventure's the off. adventure's over. I'm just letting you know. If that happens, we're done. All right. We're done for the day. We're done. It's a 15 yeah. hit. Yes, it does. All right. So <laughs> it's going to also take its 2d10. Uh... I'm just saying. I mean, if it didn't, you know, there was some part of me that was just that I ran I ran out of popcorn. I'm sorry, but I would have to go get some more popcorn. I ran out of popcorn. Okay, Cartman. <laughs> no, he's my pop pack. Roll 1d8 <laughs> plus 4 plus 2d10. Ooh, nice. So the initial one takes 20 damage, and everyone within 10 feet of it takes 14 damage. All right, let me do the math here. Doesn't he have a of a um, deck save or something? <sighs> I don't remember. It probably might. I don't. I don't think it does. Uh, oh. Yeah. Dex oh, save. my bad. Dex save for half damage. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I don't know what the spell DC was, but I probably didn't hit it. So. Uh, spell. It is uh fourteen. Um, I think maybe one of them hit it, but probably not. I'm not. I'm not bothered to go look up at its stats right now. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I mean, I technically do have it up, but uh... I had it up before I changed screen twenty times to go look up all the other things I need for this. Damn Modrons. Uh... Not a patterns on this one. This one's grappling. This one's spell components. This one's just there a random go. elf. Yeah, alright, he was close, but they didn't make it. So they all get hit with the full whatever. 14 uh, damage. This one goes down, and then it hits the ground, and it... Oh, no. Dies. That one's dead. Ooh. Dead, dead. Ooh. Uh, This one is not dead, luckily for it. 
neither is this one. But they uh, they don't look happy. Yeah, well, one of them else is not going to be happy because I'm using my second attack. So this one's dead, right? Yeah, the one over here. Yeah. All right. This one is going to get hit with another arrow. All right. Hope. Probably. Maybe. This, and this one, right? The far roll. one? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. 1d20, and I'm going to use my negative 5 to attack to try to do 10 additional damage. All right. So instead of plus 9, it's a plus 4. Fuck, it doesn't hit. Well, at least you didn't roll a 1, buddy. Don't fucking jinx me like that. <laughs> Look, I'm trying because it would make the video. If the, I mean, we, if we ended it on that, it would just be the best video ever. <laughs> it's just like, I've been it. unknocking on the wood for like an hour. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's It was funny enough the first time. Yeah. Plus, you guys kind of got to catch these assholes for the story to progress. Kind of. Plot armor. Uh, but Plot but armor. when you do that, Chad throws his hand up in the air and he's like, Chad! Field goal! Uh, I also want to note that on the first hit, for some reason, you hear the most beautiful noise you've ever heard. But just for a moment. Oh, yeah? Are you yeah. trying to save a goddamn siren? I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. All I said is he heard the most beautiful goddamn thing he'd ever heard. It's up to him to I'm interpret that. Today. That's my goal. That's my campaign. Anyway, it's the bat's turn. They're not happy. They're like, I'm out of this bitch. Oh, shit. Ah, what happened? And oh, there we go. Move it with it. Uh, luckily for you, though, um... Yeah, they don't seem to be going as fast as they were before. They're down a bat. They're carrying my hypnotic uh, pattern with them. Yeah, it kind of stuck to them like glitter. It's everywhere. <laughs> is that really all it is, is glitter? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just... I mean, I'm a bag, so yes. Uh, anyway, now, Florence. He's going to kind of catch you up to that. Catch you. What's your speed again? 80? <laughs> oh no, you could do it with a sprint, couldn't you? Couldn't you do it with a yeah. sprint? You could definitely get there with a sprint. But that would definitely yep. take up your... Uh... One of the actions. However, if you did that, then it would at least... Actually, no, it wouldn't really do much. But you could do it, unless you have a bonus action, then you could do that and then use your bonus action to do something. Remember, haste gives also an additional action. Oh, that is true. So you technically can run all the way over there and still do one thing. And a bonus action. Speaking of which, how many turns has Haste been up now? It's only been four or five. You still have it for sure, but it's got to be getting close to the end at this point. Because we waited on the roof for two turns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get close here. I am cutting it close that's all right the fly spells good you just gotta be chill <laughs> anyway go for it anyways so i get one hit and i better hope this hits that would be really nice if it does i believe in you iron squirt gun <laughs> <laughs> that joke is never gonna look <laughs> I love that. I love that joke. Yeah, it is a great joke. Like a Maokai beating on a... <laughs> uh... Ooh. Mm. Oh, God, ah. mm. ain't gonna do shit. Ooh. Do you have any bonus actions that you can partake of? You know, there's some part of me that, you know what I should have done in the hindsight of all things? Uh, you probably, hand, yeah, I was gonna say, probably. you had some spells, you might have. You are a wizard after all, Harry. I mean, yeah, Jewel. I, <laughs> I mean, I could have burning hands some a little bit. I'm also the one who's keeping you, like, floating, so you should be fine to yeah. just, like... Cough. Do it. As, as long as nothing happens to me. As long as, as keep me safe and you both are fine. Yeah, yep, yep. 
Um. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> nope, I don't have anything that would be a bonus action that doesn't break the concentration of um, haste. So peace to that. That's her turn. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Nope. I'm yeah. right there. Constantine. Ooh, perfect. I want to hit that one. The one that's uh, standing behind Florence? No, that one. Oh, so the one uh, the one that's on the other side of uh, the Paez look like. I mean, I guess maybe they're they're like holding them from their feet. So the Paez look like can be below. So I'll give you that one. That one's fine. See, cool. you just okay. barely, barely miss a character model there. Whereas <laughs> this one, not so much. You need a clipper. You just a clipper yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. It's Said if you were it. if you were Michael, it wouldn't matter. You just shoot this guy right in the face. Through her hair or some shit. Who cares? I'm just kidding. I'm, 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 I wouldn't be surprised anymore. I, I, this is... This is what... It's alright. This new bow will be even better. I want to know what happened. Well, you should Dude. maybe ask. What happened? I don't know. I didn't say ask me. Oh, I don't think that worked. No, not quite. No, no, no not quite. Not quite. Mm, not quite. Sorry. Sorry about that, not quite. Uh... Uh... And that's it. That's all I do. Wedge. That's my turn. Yeah. Chad's gonna say Chad. That's about it. You feel a burst of bardic inspiration. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, actually, what t Chad does do is uh, hand you a note, though. Oh, God. I'm going to read the note. Will you take your turn now to read a note? You can do that as a free action. Okay. You like. Like a small note. Uh. What? <laughs> what? What? What is it? What is it? Chad. What is it? <laughs> oh, what? Wedge is gonna look very perplexed. You know, and he's gonna look at the bow, and he's not gonna fucking question it. Yeah, there's no question it. It's not the time. And he's he's going to uh, he's gonna launch some arrows at the uh, <laughs> remaining bat. There's two bats. This sorry, let me move this thing here. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, get rid of my little circle. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. It's so <laughs> I can't get it. It's too tiny. It is literally glitter. Ah, it has infected the map. I don't know how to get rid of them. I got it. I just couldn't select it because it was amidst everything else. All right, shoot at him, buddy. Pew, pew. <sighs> Come on, Wedge. Come on, Wedge. Do cool things. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to take the negative penalty, negative five on my to hit for the 10 additional damage. Alrighty. Quiet. Damn it. First attack misses. Uh, you hear a large, loud fart noise. <laughs> oh no! I fucking hate you. And I'm gonna do the same thing, trying to hit, uh... Hit, yeah. hit this one here. Alrighty. Negative five to the uh, attack roll, blah, blah, blah. 
Gotcha. Sharp, sharp, shooty, Ah, uh, it's gonna do another fart, and it's gonna call you fat. Ah. It goes. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> you a fat bitch. I, I, I hate this. I fucking hate this. How many times are we gonna hear him just not like any? Uh, it's their turn again, and they're gonna continue to try to escape. They uh naturally have the disengage action, so they actually get to go to do that for free. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna matter. They're just gonna run right back at it. And then it's Florence's turn to just run back up on him. Yep. Although she better hurry before. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am hurrying. Because then hurrying. she's going to be stuck in the air. It's 60 foot, it's 60 foot flying speed, though. <laughs> she has, it's, a, it's cool. She has feather fall. She has a flying speed. She That's does, speed. but she can't move when she's exhausted, including downwards. So, so if flying happens to disengage at that moment, it would be a bad thing. Why do you keep saying that? I don't like that you keep saying that. I'm just saying. Ah, oh, hey, look, nice. You make me feel an intense existential fear sometimes. That's the, what I, that, you know, that's, I feel that's my goal and purpose as a DM. There's two. One, <laughs> I want to make you feel accomplished, like like your plans have come to fruition, that you've done work and worked hard to achieve something and done a good job. But you guys make that really hard. So I go for the other one, which is to just instill existential dread and horror whenever possible. I mean, Florence is already living that. I mean, without any ad additional help. Oh, yeah. All I needed to do was throw you in a group with these two, and that took care of that. Uh, you're yeah. the non-nomer. I just do that to those two, and then let them do that to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of figured. Let them drag you into a bank heist. Uh, so those are your two, correct? Or yeah. your yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, are they on the same target? I assume, or are you gonna do one and then the next? It's up to you. It is a quick question. How bad are one of these guys looking? As uh, they look as look. They look pretty rough, both of them. Uh, the one closer to you looks a little rougher. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll... Yeah, well, I'll take him. Why not? Because it's going to be hard for him to... But yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Alrighty, and you are using your specialty rapier, yes? Yes. Alright, I just had to make sure. So, uh, your first attack uh, stabs this guy, and he goes, Bleh! and he uh, falls down. And, boop. Oh, hey, he didn't die on impact. Hey. He's just sleeping. Uh... All right, your second attack is going against this guy. Yeah. All right, you're sure about that? While well, you're 50 feet in the air. Yeah, but I will hold on to... Well, I, I was going to say here, because this is why there's a thing, because that's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, that's a little bit of a task there, having just yeah. made your two attacks and uh, holding your rapier in your hand. Yeah. It'll be a little a tough. A little tough. Here's a quick question. Can I follow up, Can I follow up with a... Um, my Yeah, my reaction. Uh, I guess I'm not sure if a reaction would count for catching someone. I'm not gonna use it to catch. I'm gonna see if I can use freaking feather folks. I know I ain't gonna catch her in time. Now, I, I'm not sure you can pull off the full feather fall as a reaction. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, maybe wait till next turn when you can attack and then cast feather fall. It is a reaction. That's why we're just like. Some way, somehow, we've got to cast this check. Oh my god. That's right. Wedge is going to fire an arrow that pins her to the building. God. Just by the clothing. We've, can we've can I do that? Oh, that's can up, I do that? It's up to you guys. I'm not... I'm not okay, let's do it. No, <laughs> you know what's the worst that can happen? 
the you know what? Let's that... not like that. Let's not ask what the worst can happen. You'll yeah, have me thinking. Let's refer so, so... Let me go back to the previous statement of what happened to, to the last time we he was a circus act where he was trying to hit something on the top of someone's head, if I remember correctly. To be fair, or someone head... goosed his bum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't hold that against me. I will. I can hold we it against will. your bum, though. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, man, I miss Diffy in these. Yeah, no, no. How do you think I feel? I'm like, what the heck happened? To the, what so, happened is, is, is she falling right now? No, not currently. That's why we're kind of, like, deciding this. Is she's like, alright, if I attack, she's going down. Yeah. I'm basically... Do it. Do it. Then Michael technically comes later in the round than you. He has six seconds, which is enough time to catch someone going 50 feet down. With the, you know, if he does it right, which <clears throat> that could be quite. Who knows? Maybe Ashley can run over in six seconds and cast Feather. No. Within 50 feet in six seconds? Eh, eh, see, welcome to what I'm. Well, that's it's up to you like... to try. I mean, hey, look. It's not that bad. I will do that level best. Look, it can get all the way out to right there. If you can make it to right there, that's 60 feet. Uh, right Unfortunately, there. I don't think you can make it to right there. Yeah, I don't think I can. It's... Unless I dash. Yeah, then you can't. Uh, and also, remember, you can't dash. They have to dash. So you gotta tell Constantine to dash. So maybe you could do it. Maybe. But, if but uh, I mean, then who knows? Let's let Wedge try it. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, but Florence is the solid plan. B, is is, is this a tree or is this a bush? That is a tree. All right, I'm gonna. If she starts falling, we're gonna try to pin her to the fucking tree with an arrow. All right. Christ's sake. See, see, this is why I'm the solid plan B. All right. So, are you going through with your attack then, Florence? That's the real question. Because everything after that is just physics. Yeah. <laughs> physics. Yes. Physics and seeing if we can pin a human being. To no, a this, fucking tree. That is not a human being. Keep this in mind. That's this also. A... <laughs> well, they don't know yet because you haven't told them. They don't pay attention. I love how that's. What? <laughs> well, what? you gotta remember this character back in the camp told you what they were. But you guys probably don't remember. <laughs> and funny enough, Florence does. That's amazing. She wasn't a, she wasn't a siren. No. This shit. And I don't take notes. Keep oh, in hey, mind, look. I don't. But what kind? That's one to be fair. Yeah, fair. To be fair, I can't expect you to know all the demons in D and D. That's too much. Yeah, that's. that's I'm that's honestly just. I just honestly impressed you got the demon part. Anyway, uh, so you attack him, and uh, he goes down. Yeah. Yeah, because you did enough damage. I need to roll and see how what happens to him. Oh, he did. He's super wicked, dead. Super dead. Like, he went splat. Ooh. His pieces are left on the ground. I mean, there's a little of him over here, a little over there. And uh, as soon as he falls, this one starts to drop, which uh, then it goes to Ashley's turn. Okay. Uh, let me say here, uh... And you say I can't cast Featherfall as a reaction? As a reaction? I don't believe so. I double it's check a reaction it. spell. That's what I was telling him. It, it is. Uh, I That's guess it's technically like... good. The problem is you'd already taken up an excessive amount of moves and actions. She hasn't. That's true. Because you'd used your full run on both of those. I would just dash and then reaction, featherfall. Actually, here's a fun thing. Um, can I dash sixty feet towards them? So I'm within sixty feet of both of them, and then drop fly and cast featherfall on the both of them. Featherfall doesn't require concentration. It does not. No. I know. But I do believe if you go to cast another spell, you do lose your concentration on the 
if you have a concentration spell up. If, if it, I thought if it was to contesting con uh, concentration. Yeah, it's it's got to be another spell that requires concentration. <laughs> Because you can okay. you can do offhand spells like that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to leave fake Payas alone, floating gently down. She's like I want Florence Florence along with her. Well, Florence, the spell would actually save. Uh, Fly does state that it doesn't just drop ball drop them like that, but floats them down. But Payas is probably our bigger problem because she oh doesn't have that I'm luxury. I'm thinking of casting Featherfall on the both of you. I mean, that could work. It I'm going to do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move within 60 feet. I'm going to move my full dash. Well, I'm going to tell Constantine to move my full dash. Uh, which would put me right on the edge of the boat right here so i'm gonna move us right here and so now i'm within 60 feet of both my friends i'm gonna drop fly and cast feather fall on the both of them okay i find this acceptable i find this boring. wait where are you sitting right now <laughs> Oh, the Modron's carrying me. Right, right, but where are you exactly? Right here? Right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. I'm gonna go actually, I'm gonna say actually I'm right here. <laughs> oh, oh, are you now? Are yeah. you now? <laughs> you scared me. God, you scared me. <laughs> Jesus, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, it seems like everything has been uh, figured out pretty nicely. Good job, y'all. You have uh, saved them from falling. Well, I mean, technically, they're still falling, but they're just falling slower. 60 feet a second. A turn. 10 feet a second. I was going to say, falling 60 feet a second? That sounds kind of dangerous. You only fall 10 feet a second normally. That's the speed of, well, sorry, 10 meters, so 30 feet a second. Yeah, so, uh, so five willing creatures, descentless to 60 feet per round. Yeah, a round is the entire, uh, everybody's thing. Which is weird, because that's such an arbitrary measure, because if there's not a lot of people, like right now, there's not a lot of people, so the rounds are very short. I thought, I thought that a round was... Six seconds. Uh, no, that's a turn. Yeah, a turn is six seconds. A round is going around the table. Oh. Yeah. I feel like you explained this to me last week. Probably, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. All right. I believe I also explained it to you when you were knocked up in the air by... Probably. Oh, you answered. I can go to Tyrannosaurus Rex. In my in the AU chat, I turned into a T Rex and a Sky Leviathan. That was a very fun battle. That was a terrifying battle. I thought it was fun. Yeah, not really to me. <laughs> okay. Which so speaking of which, briefly, we don't even know what we got from that other than a terrorizing experience and a um. Well, none of you have rested yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm caught up trying to get my my familiar. And which Florence did didn't ever answer that question. She explained probably it, but she never you answered. said you would. <gasps> no, out of character and in character are two different things. <laughs> well, That's anyway, okay. I, this is uh, this is probably the good spot since it's already eight and we've just taken down the last bad guy. Uh, with that in mind, this is a fun battle. Thank you. I thought you might enjoy it. It had a lot more uh, mechanics than a regular battle would have, because it went on the roof, then it went flying, and blah blah blah. Yeah, right. it, it makes me really worried. It makes me really worried for whatever is gonna come next, 
Because I used both my level 3 spells. I mean, to be fair, I'm out because remember between the two, last two fights? Because there was the group of guards and then this. I used haste. As well as the um, blade song. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys might need to take a little nappy nap. <laughs> wow, it's it's almost like, uh, uh, you know, someone misused their spells. Oh, hush your trap, dear sir. I didn't at least break my rose string because I crit fail. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't see you do damage. <laughs> oh, you can't think of any good comebacks. Axel knows that I did damage. His silence is telling. I don't say anything. This isn't my fight. Because <laughs> <laughs> he knows damn well I fight. Well, if to be honest, Michael probably did four or five times as much damage as you did, but that's not the point, all right? I mean, the fact that he broke his... He had to sit out two Right, rounds. he only did two attacks, and he did four times as much damage as you did. I'm just saying, oh. I wouldn't... That wouldn't be the hill i die on. Florence, My hill would have been I caught them. Florence yeah. is the character in League of Legends who gets all the kills, but has, like, no fucking damage. Oh, because yeah. it... it I think it's because he can't catch them and he can dabble personally. Can we all just agree that Carly is the MVP in this fight? This is true. Without Carly, they would have escaped, like, rounds and rounds ago. Those guys move faster than all of you, except for Florence with flight on. Yeah. And, even, like, okay. and even then, she needs to sprint to make sure to stay up with them. Because they, they'll be sprinting as well, so she has to sprint to keep up. So, Carly, she may get herself into some trouble, but you know what she does? She gets herself out of trouble. But also, she yeah. gave him a head start. Well, I mean, she's also okay. the only one that was up there. Because some people were cough, not doing anything. Yeah. I some mean... people were watching speed paints. Yeah. Cough. I mean, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to see how far they. Get. Okay, but let's see. Let's see how far they got their brain cells to work. Well, to be fair, to they, you were only able to catch them because of them, so I'd say they did more input than you did by far. Yeah. In, yeah. in fact, even without you showing up, Wedge would have been able to shoot both of them down from that distance. That if he so could good. hit the again. <laughs> if he could hit them again. I mean, yeah. he can, like, can we talk about the fact but once again, he can shoot the entire map. It didn't matter where they went. He can shoot unless they leave. He can shoot them everywhere. That's why I was like, ah, there's no problem. I'll just, you know, let them fly around. But he'll shoot them down. They'll go pick them up. And then he broke his bow. And then he broke it. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. It gave me a chance to give him an even funnier bow. So it's still oath bow. It's just that whenever I miss an attack, it fucking farts uh it also sings when you hit oh if i don't i don't yeah it makes the most beautiful noise you've ever heard he goes oh uh, like, i just get, <clears throat> does it sing better than me? look i'm not gonna comment on this because you're not gonna like my answer wedge i'm gonna break your bow see see i uh, to be certain... fair it's not the bow it's the bow string <laughs> yes also, it also it doesn't always make fart noises when you miss. Uh, it just talks shit about you. Yeah, I kind of figured. It is a it is a sentient bowstring. Cause the note that I got from Chad says, "My name is Chad. I could not find a bowstring." Yeah, you found a different kind of string. What? Yeah. Hey, here's a fun question. Can you string Sarah show like a bowstring? Ooh. The question is, what will Shara Show do when you do? <laughs> yeah. The wrath. <laughs> See, that is a that's a Here's here's the question. thing, a couple more levels and another magic and item or two, you guys can totally take on Shara Show, maybe, maybe not. Maybe No. No. I mean no. I'm level seventeen in the in the AU cause cause Wedge, I'm sorry, not Wedge, Maiku, do assess machina at us, like, 17 levels up. 
so I'm level 17 now. I think I could take on a wizard. He's a warlock, if I'm Warlock. Right. Yeah, he's a warlock. And I'm not gonna get between that fight. I mean, oh, the Florence is not gonna get between that argument. Here's the thing. Individual player characters squishy. They do a ton Sarah of damage. Sarah Show is not squishy. He has over 200 health. How on earth does he even? Constitution is tough. He has a high con score and he has uh, tough. Carly has 153, but you know what else Carly has? See, this is why I slowly, this is why Florence leaves these two alone to a degree. I mean, not enough that they can be able to kill each other, but to the comfortable degrees of, you can grab popcorn and watch the shit show happen when it does. Their oh, show is the Warlock has an 18 con score, so he has 223 max with tough. I have healing spells as a, rea as a bonus action. Oh man, it's 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 like doesn't have spells to sap your health. Not if I don't get hit. Gosh, you do. See, and that's this is, see this is yeah. why the hypothetical kicked in. Of so he rolled the max health every level, basically. That's that's what D and D Beyond put it as. All right, they fucked it up then. <laughs> Because he would need to roll to get that health eight on every single hit dice, basically, even with tough and fucking a, the max con score you can get. See, and that's so that's how, that's how I knew immediately. I was like two hundred, no, dude, because with a D eight hit dice plus four, you can only get twelve a level, and which fair. means that your max HD minus tough is two forty to start with. Yeah, and he has 223. Yes, that's with max everything before tough. That means you would have had to roll eight every single hit dice. And do for you 20 have, times, uh, for 20 times, you would have had to roll eight. Then tough adds your level plus two each level after. Even if you got at the very first level, you would need to roll a five or six or above every single hit dice. Once again, I knew immediately the math didn't work out. I, I know the characters too well, even well, on you, these new ones. You may now put on your 3D audio listening. <laughs>